What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Chud's Barbecue. My name is Bradley Robinson and today is going to be a slightly different episode than normal because we're at the Chud shop and we're doing a crawfish boil. Coming up! And to be honest with you, I don't know how to do a crawfish boil, but the best ones I've ever had are from this guy. Hey! Oh my God! That I'm ready for our crawfish. I got my I got my getup. Dude, between that outfit and the giant red cowboy hats, we can just recreate most of Dumb and Dumber right now. What are you guys doing? Ugh, just wrapping everything up. Yeah, we're really trying to make it so this place doesn't stink like crawfish for the next few years. Mr. Parkman, what is step one in a crawfish boil? First, you have to make your own sausage. Is that just straight up andouille? I wrote this recipe because andouille usually has three ingredients. The sausage that I usually make has three ingredients. So this one has 12. Nice. Is it andouille or andouille? Uh, andouille, andouille, I don't know. I'm not actually Cajun. Probably andouille. Yeah, I got yelled at in my andouille video because I kept calling it andouille, so. <laughs> oh my God. Does that knock out barbecue? Like and subscribe. Matt James, what else is on the menu today? Shrimp po' boys. Ooh. Spicy remoulade sauce. Chicken wings? Ooh, I gotta get those buns going now that you mention it. So I made this dough last night. It's been proofing in the fridge overnight and it looks good, right? Ooh, very nice. Really good? I don't know if we should eat any of the dough though because between you and I, I don't know what Joe was doing to the dough, but I mean, I saw him with the dough last night. Nice and fluffy. Whoa. Got these all rolled out, now we're gonna let them proof for about an hour. What's happening over here, boys? How many pounds is this? 60 pounds. 60 pounds. Joe, what are you doing? I'm just listing the coal because I've never done this before. So I'm gonna salt them and then mix it with those red gloves and hopefully I don't, my hand doesn't just get cut off with a little death by many cuts and uh, perch them. So we got some bags in there. We got these little guys. We got some Baileys. We got some uh, Zatarin Pro Boil. Some people will say that you need to make your own seasoning, but I know no Cajuns that actually make their own seasoning. <laughs> Well, that's the reason I haven't done a crawfish video of my own yet. It's because when I do it, you know I'm gonna have to make. I'm gonna have to learn how to make all these from scratch yeah. because that's how we do it around here. Have you developed this recipe over time, or is this pretty pretty standard stuff? Or? The first time I went to do crawfish, there was like one video on how to do it. Now there's a few more, but there's still no like great like instructional crawfish boils from anybody that's not just like we just gonna throw a bunch of. Up Which is you know? literally what this video is gonna Which, be. <laughs> I mean, they're all kind of that way, so. I wouldn't say I developed this, but this is what I do every time. So. That's a lot of garlic, bud. I guess we can do the rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, she's one of, one of, uh, she's not Oranges and lemons, I like them both. Uh, I like a lot of citrus. What percentage of your family would you say is Cajun? 40%? Nice. Yeah. That counts, more yeah. than me. The most vegetables ever in a Chud's barbecue video. <laughs> you let this go until it comes to a rolling boil. This, technically, I think this thing says it will get to a rolling boil in like 30 minutes, but it usually takes about an hour. Meanwhile, up front here, got the old 65 gallon fired up. Getting some smoke on these links. You know Cole loves the sea links. Beautiful. Back to these rolls, they poofed up a little bit, so I'm gonna score them with this bad boy, little razor blade, and we're gonna bake them off. Sawyer showing up with the oysters. Now we're making the finishing butter for the crawfish. I love butter. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not a day at the Chud Shop if we don't whip up some chicken wings. Got the fryer going too. Getting loud out here with all the propane going. Butter, lemon, Tony's, a little bit of hot sauce, a bunch of minced garlic. Oh, man. We just took some of that, cut it with some Frank's Red Hot, made a buffalo sauce. Highly recommend this. Back out at the pot! Mushrooms, taters, probably forgot something. 
Sweet potatoes. That's the best part. The tags are sold, boil in sack, red potatoes, and they have crawfish on the uh, picture. Really? Yeah, that's what they make these for. Ooh, good color on those, eh? They ended up all like looking pretty nice. So we'll grill some of these. All right, what I missed, Joe? Uh, I eat dumb all with, the uh, veg with, and the sausage so in here. Like this, but like about to like re-season re the water, re since he's mm -hmm. clearly distracted, but I'll tell you what he told me. We're gonna re-season the water before we throw the crawfish in. No, okay. And then let's continue because he's explaining it again. Matt, do you do crawfish boils in Canada? That's a solid no. This is my first real legit crawfish boil. Nice. Yeah. Just stick your hand in there, you're that's, fine. That's, it's scary. Uh... In they go. It's really nice. First phase of cooking. So you let them cook. You try to bring this back to a boil. You really just let them go about three minutes. In uh, other news, a couple of kids found the landline, decided to call 911. Cops just showed up. They were really, that was for real? That's real, dude. Oh, I thought he was joking. <laughs> no, that really happened. He was terrifying. Very tall. <laughs> but can't bring this guy anywhere. Next menu item of the day, we're making some shrimp po' boys with those rolls that I just made. We got the fry master himself. Yep, the fry boy. Ooh, those are good. I love a good po' boy. Good remoulade, fredis. Little snake bite on top. It looks great. Need some SPG. Oh, that's where I was. Looks good. Coming in. I mean, then. How was it, boys? So good. You got that one. Mm-hmm. Little oh. Southtown Sports Club. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I haven't had a good po' boy in so long. It was great. <laughs> Ninth or tenth best po' boy. We've ever had. <laughs> no, probably the, the best. only one we've ever had that was better was probably uh, Arby's had a po' boy for a while. <laughs> Definitely the best one I've had. I think the bread makes it. Like when well, freshly have, baked bread is always yeah. gonna be a win. And it, when it's like too bready and like too dense, it cuts up your mouth. Are they done soaking? No, well, I'm just mixing them around. I just wanted to see what they look like. So you cook yeah. them for what, a couple minutes and then you soak them? You cook them, them for, for like three minutes and then you really just let them soak for a long time. You wanna cool it off, you wanna stop the cooking process. But for me, I always just throw the corn and the okra, whatever stuff in there that's frozen and that'll cool down it and it just gives you a time to cook that stuff. We're ready. Ooh. How do you know when they're done? You just know. Oh, okay. Oh, sweet. Uh, 203, just like a brisket. <laughs> Now these need an overnight heated rest? Yep, and now they just rest for the next 16 hours. About half of this on there. So we got another. Pretty interesting way to go about making mashed potatoes. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, Jackson! <laughs> We're losing all the butter. That is a true play. Hell yeah. You Compared to Sawyer's play. <laughs> it's just who prefers to eat. Yeah. How's I'm the sausage? A I'm a napkin kind of guy. Well, well, yeah. Napkin man. Hey, here I am. Just <laughs> tissues. Oh. <laughs> How long do you think it'll take to go through 60 pounds of sausage? Yeah. Couple days. Uh, couple minutes. <laughs> minutes. <laughs> How many are you I don't know. Eat? They're devouring them over there. Yeah. Luckily, there's another whole round coming out in probably 30. So. I just want the leftovers. Personally, I'm eating 200 crawfish. Personally. We should keep count. I'm on one so far. Oh, yeah. You wanted to? I was wondering That's how the so smokiness good. would hold. How is it, Lauren? It is delicious. Yeah. <laughs> delicious. Very spicy. Super flavorful. Delicious. Really good. Really, 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 really Dude, the good. Mushrooms are the, the mushrooms are the, and the garlic. Mushrooms and the garlic, yeah. The mushrooms and the garlic, the okra. It's all so good. Yeah. Some of the best crawfish I've ever had. Same. It's Thank you guys. Legitimate. Thanks so much. Dude, the perfect amount of spice, that garlic, phenomenal, all the veg, perfectly cooked. I think I ate 47 of them in a row, and I'm That's ready for more. That's what you're supposed to happen. You're supposed to eat that many. Matt James, first yes, crawfish bowl, how was it? I was just telling Evan that it's the best crawfish I've ever had in my life. Layers of flavor? Layers, Layers of flavor. He's from Canada. He's from Canada. <laughs> Ready for round two? Absolutely. We've got shrimp in this batch. All right, yeah. time for round two. We're gonna tackle all of these. I think I'm officially <laughs> spiced out. Nick, how was the crawfish? Oh, it was so good. I am still hungry. Well, there's plenty more. <laughs> 
I need to wait for my palate to cool off because yeah. I'm burnt out. Yeah. It's really not a crawfish bowl <laughs> until the backyard looks like this. Nice. I think that's probably the only downside of doing a crawfish boil. It makes a mess. It's expected. All right, y'all, and that is it. That is going to do it for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, not my typical shtick, very informal, but we had a really great time today here at the Chud Shop. They're still in there partying. Music is playing. All that being said, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that subscribe button. Let YouTube know by dropping a like on this video. Big shout out to all the Patreon members. Thank you for supporting Team Chud and allowing days like this to happen. And until the next time I see you, please go cook something outside. Peace. The after party continues. Now show me what you've done. That's a pretty nice mound. What do you think? Delicious, spicy, super buttery. Yeah, super flavorful. We're at 1240 and we're making wings this time. More wings? Yeah. It's gonna make a mess of my butthole. Ah!